Another thing that's really nice about our job here in Atherton on our waterfalls is that this waterfall, as you can see, is the elevation above the uh, surface of the water is probably roughly, I'd say, 10 feet. And uh, our, our client can actually climb into the rocks and into the various water bowls and actually s sit in them. So we create a, uh, an opening, a cavity, if you will, within the rock formation, like a natural pool you would see up in the, in the mountains if you went hiking. So you can actually use the upper bowls to actually soak in on a nice hot summer day. And uh, Daryl really, really enjoys that. Just a little more detailed shots of the rock formation. All the rocks are carefully set with a general crane that we brought in. The rocks go in under the water. We don't like seeing tile beneath, beneath the rock. It looks unnatural. It's better to uh, create a waterproofing system, a bench, if you will, that we waterproof, and then we set our rocks into the water. They, they go in under the water, which looks natural. Look at that one, that one rock causes the water sheet to ricochet off. It's a real nice look. These waterfalls are powered by variable drive motors made by Pintair, controlled by the Pintair uh, system, control systems in the house. And, um, they work great. They're really energy efficient, keeps the PG&E build to a minimum. It's hard to tell, but under the water, in the very floor of the pool, are up lights. And these up lights, under the water at nighttime, are an individual dimmer. So we can actually create lighting effects underwater that shine up on the face of the deep end wall and the shallow end wall of the pool at nighttime. And we can dim those down and we can turn the lights up that are in the water bowls and then the lights in the background and the up lights of the trees it just create a spectacular light show at nighttime that makes you feel like you're in the Hawaiian Islands somewhere on vacation or the Caribbean. Once again, the plant material that's growing into the rock formation makes a big difference, softening the, the rocks, takes away the harshness, makes it look much more natural. You can see that the water is getting ready to crest over the dam, the rock dam we created on the hidden spa. We'll get a close-up of that.